number 13 Demon Street. I am condemned to live here, to suffer on this earth eternally, as a punishment for my sin. It is said that no greater outrage was ever committed by any mortal. But should I find a crime more heinous, my terrible punishment will end. How do we know where death lurks? Where he hides his bony face? Perhaps in this pot, in which there is a deadly seed, a murderous flower bulb, cruel, inanimate. <laughs> I want you to see a man who, innocent and trusting, wanted to plant a flower, instead of which he dug his own grave. See Frank Dylan in his small garden in Copenhagen. And judge for yourself if the crime that you are about to witness is not worse than mine. Hello, Frank. Good morning, Wallace. Any trouble? No, I'm going to plant some bulbs. <laughs> Isn't that rather deep? Oh, it must be. About five feet. Then I'm going to fill it with this soil that was shipped to me from Malaya. From the jungle. Let me give you a hand. Some Mirada vine bulbs arrived at the museum. They had been found in an ancient grave. They're calcified. But I think they'll grow. No kidding. How old are they? Oh, I'd say about three to four thousand years. You don't say. Hello, Terry. Hello. The garbage disposal is clogged up again, Frank. Well, what, what do you want me to do? I'm no plumber. <laughs> you do a little digging. That may help a little woman. You can do about anything, can't you, Wally? You name it, I do it. Damage. Never mind, I'll call the plumber. For eight bucks an hour. Frank doesn't make that much. Turn on the water. And turn it off. Get your big paws off me. Sorry, my hand slipped. You're looking at me. You've got that certain glint in your eyes. Leave me alone or I'll call Frank. What good will that do? I've eaten bigger guys for breakfast. Frank! Okay, okay, okay. Ah. That's deep enough, isn't it? Yeah. Thanks, Wally. I could never have done it so quickly. <laughs> Bet you couldn't. Frank? <laughs> Doesn't she look fresh as a spring morning? I made you some sandwiches. You're late. Thanks, dear. Tonight I'm going to plant the Mirada bulbs. Imagine if they would grow. The Mirada vine. We only know about it from ancient Malayan manuscripts. Very exciting. I'm going to write it up for the archaeological journal. Well, see you later, dear. And thanks again, Wally. Now, here is the museum's largest exhibit. The skeleton of a blue whale, 66 feet long, 
uh, caught in the waters between Greenland and northern Sweden in 1878. Notice how many of the bones correspond to those of the animal skeletons we saw earlier. And remember... Frank, Dr. Houston wants you at his office. Well, I'll be finished here in just a minute. He's unwrapping the marauder plants. I told Dr. Green here to relieve you. Thank you, Ruth. I can hardly wait to see you. Uh, please excuse me. I must go to my office for a few moments. Motion picture cameras should be grinding at this important moment. Doesn't look like much to me, Dr. Dylan. You're wrong. It's the Mirada vine. I'd like to take the afternoon off. I want to plant these in my hothouse. I want to water them and watch over them myself. They have to be doused with warm water every day, just at sundown, just as if from tropical rain. Good luck with it, Dylan. Why do you encourage him, Dr. Husted? How can a 4,000-year-old bulb grow? It was completely calcified. It hasn't been proven that it can't grow, has it? He's such a trusting soul. Will he ever grow up? How did you get in? The way I went out. Through the door. Please, Wally, go home. Why should I? Garlic. No. That would spoil it. I don't want you to come here when Frank isn't around. That's what makes it interesting. I swear I'm going to tell him. Don't be silly. I know women. The way you talked to me and looked at me. I know you don't mind a little conversation. Get out or I'll scream. And who will come running except me? And I'm already here. Can't you leave me alone? Haven't you any decency? Lots of it. But not in the afternoon. Now you get out of here. And stay out. I don't want you to come back again, ever. Sorry, it isn't quite what it looks like. Tell him to go away. Tell him, Frank. Tell him what really happened, why don't you? This little woman was calling for me again, about the sink. He's lying. What does this mean, Terry? He made a pass at me, and, and now he's I trying to tell you that I... She invited me in here, Frank. She's the type. We are both too good for her. I'll tell you something about her, Frank. How dare you speak about my wife like that? What did I do? You ran into the knife. I knew something like this was going to happen. I knew it all the time. I must call the police. You're crazy. What about those to fry in the chair? I didn't do it. You killed him. You picked up the knife. You're as guilty as I am. And when the police questioned me, I tell you, you murdered him. You can't do that. Your fingerprints are on the knife, too. We've got to think. We'll bury him in the hole he dug this morning in the hothouse. But they'll be looking for him. Tell him he left. He walked out on you. It happens every day.
call me Dr. Husted? Yes. This is Detective Johnson, Miss Wilder. How do you do, Miss Wilder? How do you do? I wonder if you could give me a few minutes. Sit down, please. Thank you. You want to talk to me about Dr. Dylan's disappearance? Yes. You were his secretary, weren't you? No. I'm Dr. Husted's assistant. Tell me, did anything special happen on the day of his disappearance? Yes. He was rather excited about some petrified bulbs, some bulbs we had shipped to us from Malaya. Some bulbs? Yes, Murata vine bulbs. The Murata death vine, they're called. And where are those bulbs now? Well, he took them with him. He put them in his pocket and left here to plant them. And he went home from here with the intention of planting the bulb at his home. Yes, I think so. Miss Wilder, would you mind visiting the Dylan home with me and see if we can find those bulbs? You'd know what they look like, wouldn't you? Yes, if Dr. Husted doesn't mind. Oh, of course not. But if you'd like to see what one of those bulbs looks like, Mr. Johnson, have one here. <laughs> but this thing is completely dead. I'm no gardener myself, but I can, I can tell there's no life in it. Dr. Dylan didn't agree. You know, some plants survive thousands of years. Who knows what that bulb can do? I only came to ask you how you have been. That's a neighborly thought, isn't it? What are you talking about? Want to run out? Don't. It won't do you any good. I can't stay. Of course you can. In a couple of weeks, they won't even look for him anymore. Where are you going? I can't stay here alone. I'm going to my mother's. When I come back, I'm going to sell the house and move away. Don't you see? I can't live like this. Don't touch me. I told you never to touch me. I can't stand it. Calm down. I'm going. Just don't get upset. We rang the bell, but nobody answered. I'm Detective Johnson, Mrs. Dylan, and this is Miss Wilder. I met Mrs. Dylan before. Sit down. Thank you. Wallace Fortin, the neighbor on the western side of the house. I just came in to find out if there's any news about Frank. Then you're a friend of his. Sure, we play bridge together. Terry, Frank, and I, and any victim we can get hold of. I'm a bachelor, you see. I see. Are you leaving, Mrs. Dylan? I'm going to my mother's for a few days. A woman alone in this house. Well, I'm, I'm afraid. Yes, I understand, but I asked you to inform me of all your intentions of going away. Am I under arrest? Of course not, but I might need you for questioning. Wouldn't know where to find you. Where does your mother live? In Copenhagen, on Westerbrogan. Mrs. Lever. Mr. Fulton? Yes? Tell me, uh, yes? what's your profession? Salesman. Are you usually home during the day? I wouldn't say so, but sometimes, uh, like today, you see, I'm assigned by my company to make certain calls. I understand. And you were a good friend of Mr. Dylan's. I wouldn't say a good friend. But as a neighbor, I helped him out. And what did this helping out consist of? Money? No. But only last week, I, I fixed a sink for him. And helped him in the hothouse. Oh, yes. The Mirada bulbs. He wanted to plant them. Let me see if he dug a hole for them. Yes. Yes, I think he did. He did? Well, I, I dug a few shovelfuls of dirt for him. Would you show me where this hole is? Sure. Why not? Do you mind, Mrs. Dallin? Of course not. Is this the spot? Yes. This looks like the vine. I saw it in the illustrations Dr. Dylan showed me. The Mirada vine? Yes. Spreckle leaf. Thin, stem rather strong. This must be it. Then he planted the bulbs and then left. But why would he leave just after doing that? I remember him putting them into the pocket of his suit. A blue suit. Then he said he was going home to plant them in his hothouse. Did you see him planting the bulbs, Mrs. Dylan? 
Yes, that was the last time I saw him. Did you see him, Mr. Borden? No, the last I saw was when I dug the hole that, that morning. Uh -huh. This is the darndest thing. You say they are three or four thousand years old. And here they are growing. I will dig them out and take them to the museum. Don't touch them. But they are of great scientific interest. But they belong to Frank. And I must look after them. I must give them warm water, like I said I would. They're used to jungle rain. I won't let you take them away. Then you won't go to your mother. No. No, I'll, I'll stay here and wait for Frank. <clears throat> now, if you'll excuse me, I'm a bit upset. I understand. The Mirada Death Vine. A frightening name. Death Vine? Yes. Dr. Houston at the museum told me that they are attracted by the heat of a human body. They wind themselves around humans and strangle them. But to me, they look innocent enough. You must be crazy to come here. No one is worrying who you see. I can sleep. I need company. <laughs> I wish to be more sociable, Terry. We are pals now. No use to run away. You could, even if you wanted to. <laughs> Frank is ending up in the fires of missing people. That's all. Get the number and that's the end of it. Here's to you, Captain. Wally, get out. I told you a long time ago to keep away. Besides, you're too confident. You're too sure we will get away with it. Well, I'm not. I wish I would be as sure of anything as of that. <laughs> Vanished husbands are a dime a dozen. Let's wait a few weeks, maybe a month. Sell this place, and we're free. And let the new owner find the body? Yeah. I didn't think of that. <laughs> it looks as if we have to stick together. Why not make the best of it?
What was this man doing in your house? I called him. To fix something? Yes. The drain was stopped up, and I was afraid the basement would get flooded. It had been flooded before. You see, he was drunk when he came in. I told him to leave, but he wouldn't. You're making up this story? No. No, Will you I'm show not... me where the water ran over? If you look under the sink, you'll see that the pipes have just been welded. It isn't my business whom you invite to your house, Mrs. Dylan. Only that this man was killed in a strange way. Don't! What is it? You don't want to have this killer plant in your hothouse. Let me do it.